damn, I gotta fucking say, Ali Baba fucking destroyed people in this episode of Maggie. So, pretty much the whole Colosseum battle. And his sort of side of the story is sort of over now and up until, like, freaking Magna start. So, we get to see Ali Baba, like, going against God of the Ape, and he cannot use his weapon at all, he can't use his Dijin equipment, he can't use them all, and he has to use a normal sm uh, sword, and he's just going in on freaking Gaida at first, and it's, I was just got to say, like, Maggie, the animation so far has just been beautiful for, like, past few episodes, they especially put it up for Alibaba's stuff, which I have no idea why, but it's like, that shit looks beautiful, and pretty much he can't do anything to Gaida, because, like, she keeps uh, using his muscles to stop the sword strikes, I was like, what the fuck, and... He was getting absolutely fucked up by God, and he was like, Ugh, I can't, like, I surrendered, at least, like, he's like that, it's like, wow, just pussy out immediately, and then turns out they won't stop the match until someone's either defeated or dead, and people wanted blood, they wanted blood, so they're like, yo, let's go, and freaking God bites through Alibaba's arm, and it's like, ooh, he's like, it looks super fucking painful, and you see, like, the bone crunching, and then you see his life flash before his eye, like, all his moments with, like, Kajim and stuff, and the even more fucked up thing is that the ape at Garda tries to wake Alibaba up by breaking his fucking arm. And then he wakes up and it's like all dangling like that. It's like, ugh. <laughs> and he's like freaking out there. But once like he actually thinks about, you know, Kajim and his back to and finally accepts what he needs to do, he, he fuses his two Magoys into one. So... The, the Magoi that he did have inside of him was Kashim's, like, that. Some, someone was saying that it was the earrings, I don't think it was, like, that was bit was his earrings, but that maybe that was, like, a memento to, like, Kashim just to remember him by. But, that fight just ended fucking beastly, he fucking got a crap, like, the Garda ape to crash into, like, a statue, and then he just stabs, he, like, he baits him with his broken arm, and then he stabs it in the fucking mouth, so, pretty much makes him super fucking angry, and then as well, like, just going in, like, using, like, the whole, like, I think she, uh, he got back to the wall, and then he just put the sword in and it just went straight through Carter's arm, and it just fucked that ape up. Like, he couldn't use one arm like Alibaba, and then it, it, it was all a matter of time. It's like him just keeps stri striking, and then freaking Carter falls to the fucking floor. So it's pretty much simple as that. But we see the end of the match, and we see two finalists at the side, like, seeing, like, one looks like fucking Zebra from Tariqa missing out there, and then we got this, like... This girl with huge, I think you know what I want to say, like huge bunker busters. So, yo, know, there's more fanless being involved in fucking lame. It's not only just moo. Like, and then you see, and I swear by the end of these, these fucking like, episode reads, I'm going to get this bitch's name right. Sheharazade, like, um, it's a fucking hard name, was discussing me about, like, you know, about the match, and then also, it reveals in this episode, like, and it did as well at the Margaret at this point, that she is a fucking Margie, and it does show in the opening, so come on, guys, like, um, I've been trying to hold in, but, yo, like, she was saying, you know, Magna Star, she, and she knows that, um, they plan to invade Raim, and the also as well, they've they got an immeasurable amount of magic tools, as they, even the bandits have got them. And then you even uh, know in this episode that uh, even Mu as well is a dungeon clearer. Like, he's got a weapon as well. And he shows that the Thanalist corpse that I was like, oh, shit. It's like, will defend you and Lim. And it's like, oh, my God, the Thanalist fucking corpse. <laughs> just thinking about that just fucking reminds me of some awesome shit. Like, that's going to happen. So, but Shalah Lazade um, sensed the problem um, arising in Marcus now. And even some stuff going down in the Co-Empire. And the episode pretty much re uh, ended with, like, Toto realizing, you know, Alibaba's fucking man, he's boss. Like, a little bit of relationship, maybe. Um, you never know. Like, I'm just saying. And then you even see as well, like, he's actually, like, it's like five days later, and he's healing with fucking Garda. Then he's like, oh, I'll just bore with the fucking money I got, because that's probably what Kashim would have done. And then the episode just ended with Morgiana at the uh, end, arising in her country, Katarag, and oh, it's just an amazing episode. And now we got, like, um, Morgiana's story starting. It was a really good episode. I'd give this one, like, an, like an 8.5 out of 10. It was really enjoyable. But that's all for me. I want to thank you very much for watching. Remember, it's Jalapan, and I'll see you.